Have you heard? A vintage fighter jet retired over half a century ago has now returned to the skies in a new role, even becoming a versatile asset on modern battlefields. On the eve of the 2025 Changchun Air Show, this very scene unfolded when enthusiastic netizens snapped photos of the familiar J6 silhouette in the exhibition area and shared them online. No one could have imagined it was no longer the piloted fighter jet of yesteryear, but an intelligent, unmanned combat platform. This discovery quickly ignited heated discussions among military enthusiasts, unexpectedly introducing a star attraction to the Changchun Air Show, officially opening on September the 19th. According to a September the 16th report by the Defense Blog website, the aircraft on display is China's unmanned fighter, modified from retired J-6S. As a classic Cold War era model, the J-6 was once one of the largest and longest-serving fighter fleets in the Chinese Air Force. Now, they are returning to the battlefield system in a brand new unmanned form, showcasing an astonishing second spring. Judging from the images captured by netizens and the booth information, these heavily modified J-6 drones have had their original 23mm cannons, ejection seats, and some external fuel tanks removed. They've been equipped with terrain-following navigation systems, autopilots, and automatic flight control systems. New pylons under the wings can carry various air-to-ground missiles and precision-guided bombs, enabling them to perform multiple functions including ground strikes, decoy missions, and target drone training. In fact, the concept of converting J-6 S into drones is far from new. As early as the beginning of the 21st century, China began exploring ways to repurpose retired fighter aircraft. As a high subsonic fighter capable of reaching a maximum speed of Mach 1.35 and an operational ceiling of nearly 18,000 meters, the J-6 possesses excellent low-altitude performance and significant payload potential, making it highly suitable for conversion into target drones or attack UAVs. China possesses a vast inventory of J-6S, estimated to exceed 1,000 retired aircraft, providing ample material resources for large-scale conversion. During the modification process, engineers not only integrated advanced flight control and navigation systems but also optimized aerodynamic configurations and weapon-carrying capabilities to meet modern information-based warfare requirements. Technically, the J-6 UAV conversion project proved far more complex than anticipated. The development team must transform a piloted fighter into a fully autonomous unmanned combat platform without altering its original aerodynamic configuration. This involves rewriting flight control laws, integrating sensor systems, and implementing encryption and anti-jamming measures for data links, all critical technological challenges. Notably, the aircraft is equipped with a new terrain-following system, enabling it to penetrate defenses at ultra-low altitudes while traveling at 900 km per hour, effectively evading enemy radar detection. This, ground-hugging, capability breathes new life into this veteran fighter. So what role can such a new wine in old bottles asset play in modern warfare? First, the J-6 UAV can serve as a high-performance target drone, simulating enemy aircraft and missile attack trajectories to enhance live fire training for ground air defense units and air force pilots. Its supersonic flight capability better replicates the penetration tactics of modern fighters, presenting a greater challenge than traditional target drones. Secondly, it can serve as a decoy aircraft, deploying in swarms to deplete enemy air defense missiles. Considering that a single long-range air defense missile often costs over $2 million, using low-cost modified legacy aircraft as drones to lure enemy fire represents an exceptionally cost-effective exchange. More notably, the J-6 UAV possesses substantial offensive capabilities. It can carry up to approximately two tons of munitions, including air-to-surface missiles and precision-guided bombs, enabling precise strikes against ground targets. When necessary, it can even execute suicide attacks by supersonic impact, delivering destructive force comparable to a one-ton high-explosive aerial bomb. This makes it capable of inflicting devastating damage on high-value targets such as enemy command centers, radar stations, and airfields. Since it is unmanned, such missions carry no risk of pilot casualties, allowing for confident deployment even in intense combat environments. Military analysts believe the large-scale deployment of J-6 drones reflects the PLA's vigorous development of low-cost, expendable unmanned combat systems. This aims to overwhelm adversaries' air defense networks through a quantitative change leading to qualitative change, approach and potential future conflicts. This approach aligns with emerging international concepts like loyal wingmen and swarm drones, but distinguishes itself by maximizing resource utilization through repurposing existing retired equipment. Technologically, 
Converting manned fighters into drones tests not only the reliability of flight control algorithms, but also involves critical technologies like avionics integration, long-range remote control, and anti-jamming communications. This public display indirectly validates China's maturity in these domains. Notably, China is not the only nation experimenting with converting retired fighters into drones. The United States has long modified F-4 and F-16 fighters into QF-4 and QF-16 target drones, while Russia has also experimented with converting older MiG-21S into unmanned attack aircraft. However, China's approach stands out for its scale and multifunctionality, transforming these aircraft not merely into targets but into fully operational unmanned platforms. This multi-purpose conversion approach not only reduces costs, but also maximizes the residual value of aging equipment. Of course, the J-6 UAV is not without its shortcomings. As an older fighter design, its original architecture did not incorporate stealth capabilities, resulting in a large radar cross-section that makes it vulnerable to detection and interception by adversaries. However, within integrated combat systems, they can effectively complement other assets. For instance, they could operate alongside stealth fighters like the J-20, with the latter handling penetration and command while the former executes saturation attacks and decoy missions. Furthermore, despite the low unit cost of individual J-6 UAVs, Large-scale deployment still requires robust command and control systems and data link support, imposing higher demands on the overall combat system architecture. Industry experts note that the J-6 UAV's debut may merely represent a snapshot of China's evolving unmanned warfare capabilities. Indications suggest ongoing development of more advanced concepts, including manned-unmanned teaming, AI-empowered autonomous decision-making, and cross-domain swarm tactics. Within these future combat concepts, modified drones can serve both as technology validation platforms and as integral components of operational systems. Particularly in high-intensity combat environments, the deployment of large numbers of low-cost unmanned platforms could fundamentally transform traditional warfare patterns. Indeed, the emergence of the J-6 UAV not only pioneers a new path for repurposing China's retired military assets, but also embodies the pursuit of asymmetric advantage in modern warfare. It achieves effective suppression of enemy defense systems at minimal cost, thereby creating a safer operational environment for manned combat platforms. Its public display at the Changchun Air Show signals China's military innovation capabilities while potentially warning potential adversaries. Even the oldest weapons, when skillfully modified, can still play a critical role on future battlefields. As drone technology advances and combat tactics evolve, modernized upgrades for legacy platforms like the J-6 the of May unlock further potential. Though no longer cutting edge, their low cost, high performance, and expendable nature could make them a standout asset in future intelligent warfare. At this air show, the Ray deployed, Flathead, has unmistakably declared to the world, in the lexicon of China's military industry, there is no such word as retirement, only reactivation and rebirth. This innovative mindset not only demonstrates profound wisdom in equipment development, but also embodies a pragmatic philosophy of maximizing combat effectiveness within existing constraints. It merits in-depth study and reference by military circles both domestically and internationally.